Welcome. In front of me is a OnePlus Nord 2T and today I'll show you how we can go through the setup process of this phone. So when you boot it up for the first time you should be presented with the screen that you can see right over here where you get to select your desired language from the drop down. Now I'm gonna stick with English so nothing really changes. From there let's select start and we are presented with terms and conditions now you can tap on either one of those so and uh, user license agreement and privacy policy if you are interested uh in knowing what you are actually agreeing to now if you don't really care you can just proceed by selecting i agree and then do that once again and this will take us to the next page which is simply looking for a sim card uh, now we can insert a sim card right now or throughout the setup process or after it's finished at any moment once you do so the card will start working immediately so there's no like additional requirements to do anything extra unless you have a pin and the only reason why this is showing up right here is to uh, for an option to either connect to mobile network or to Wi-Fi so later on throughout the setup process you can get a, a Google sign-in page for your account if you choose to skip both of them, as in inserting SIM and connecting to Wi-Fi, uh, you won't see the Google login page at all. But don't worry, you can later on, after the setup is completed, change that by just going into the settings, uh, connecting to your network, and then going to accounts and adding one if you want to. So I'm going to skip both of them. Now, additionally, because we chose to skip uh, any kind of network connection, uh, date and time isn't set automatically. So as you can see, uh, it might be incorrect, which it is for me, at least the time. And the date too, uh, but time zone is correct. So we can either fix it up if you're planning to, for some reason, not connect to network at all. Uh, or if you're planning to do that later on, just leave it as it is. It's going to automatically set up the time automatically. Uh, once it detects some kind of network. Then we have Google services. So we have three different services from Google, uh, location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. And quickly going into all three of them, location is just GPS tracking for the phone. So apps like Google Maps can function properly. Then we have allow scanning, which allows the device to look for signals like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and so on. And then send user and diagnostic data allows Google to kind of spy on you. So I'm gonna disable this. From there, you can go to the next page, which will be some co-creation creation lab. You can skip this if you want to or agree to it. Uh, it just gives you messages what you be, I guess, signing up for, but honestly, I don't really care. So let's move over to the next page, which is um, protection to our phone. So we have several different ways of protecting our device. We have screen locks, which will include pin, pattern, or password. We have face recognition and fingerprint. So if you want to set it all, all up, you can. If you're planning to use things like face recognition or and fingerprint, uh, for both of those uh, bottom ones, you are always required to also have a uh, screen lock. The reason for that is if you choose a face recognition or fingerprint and something happens to either your finger or your face, I use still can access the device through well, a pin pattern or password. Now I will set up only a pattern right here. So let me just draw it, repeat it, and it's now set. So if I select next, I assume, okay, it just goes to the next page. Okay, so from here we can choose our font and size of the font. So we have the uh, Roboto or one, uh, OnePlus uh, scan, or what scan, do you, what am I saying, uh, sense. And you can tap on either one of them to kind of see how it affects the text. Now this is purely cosmetic, whichever one you prefer, that's the one you want, you want to choose. You can below that change the font size and the display size. Now the display size will change like bubbles and other stuff while well, font size just changes obviously the font size so you can make it really small if you want to just gonna keep it at the default anyway let's move over to the next page which allows us to set up some uh, choose a, basically a navigation style 
So by default, actually, the device opts into a gesture navigation, which I do prefer myself. But if you prefer the uh, typical like three button navigation at the bottom, you are free to choose that as well. Just simply tap on it and go to the next page. Now I'll be sticking with gestures, so there we go. Recommended auto update overnight. It's just a option for you if you want to can enable this if you don't keep it disabled. Now I do believe that once the device finds an update, it will start spamming you. Uh, that the, the update is available and once you prolong it for too long the device will be like no f you i'm just gonna update it overnight anyway when you're not paying attention so keep that in mind that this is just a uh just a kind of like a nice way of asking you to update not really giving you much of an option so select done start and there we go the device is now set up so, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.